Hello everyone, today I'm answering an important question that I get all the time is that why is my blood sugar going up or why does the blood sugar spike during exercise? So that's a common question especially among athletic patients or patients who are trying their best and trying to get their heart rate up, trying to do some intense or increasing their intensity of exercise and they end up finding themselves with high blood sugar. Now, that has been a more common of a problem because people started noticing that when they started using their CGMs and like Libre or Dexcom and that became a common question. So I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist practicing in Florida. Today we are going going over the reasons for blood sugar spike when you exercise. Let's get started. So basically today we are talking about why sugars are running high when you're exercising. Well, a couple of things. You need to know some other hormones other than insulin that deals with the blood sugar levels. Now, what are these other hormones? We have cortisol, right? We have adrenaline. These are the two major stress hormones that do not get along with your insulin. Not that they're not getting along, they're made for a reason. The cortisol's job is to provide glucose to your body in the time of stress. Because you may not find food, it may not be readily available to you. Your body doesn't really know that you're in Himalayas and climbing a, a mountain versus you are at the gym in a comfortable AC condition, you know, that you're just trying to run something, you know, some, do some exercise. So your body is trying to get that cortisol running to you to make sure that you do not run out of sugar. Now, when you're insulin resistant, the cortisol's effect is doubled or tripled, and then your poor insulin trying to catch up with it is probably not gonna be able to do a good job just because there's a lot of cortisol in your system, your muscles are eating up, uh, trying to eat up blood sugar, and your body is trying to you know, create stress response. If your body is creating more sugar than the, your muscles are picking up, you are going to end up with a flood of glucose coming from your liver primarily due to gluconeogenesis due to this cortisol. Same thing happens with adrenaline. Again, adrenaline is the fight or flight response with your with your exercise. Again, your body doesn't know if you're running away from a from a lion or you're just running for fun. Uh, so in this, in any case, you're creating a lot of adrenaline. Now the problem is the adrenaline and the cortisol. When they get together, they become a badass team. They can really spike your blood sugar. So as a result, when you are at the gym or doing something outside and you're under stress, under sun or something, sometimes those triggers, anything that's stressful, you are gonna see if you end up taking a finger stick or if you're just monitoring your blood sugar on your CGM, you're gonna see that your blood sugar is climbing. Unless it was kind of on the very low side to begin with, but it tends to climb, especially with a high intensity exercise. Same thing with growth hormone. Growth hormone also kicks in, which is good in the long run because growth hormone will help your body to burn fat in the long run. But but in the short run, you know, during acute stress, uh, even growth hormone kicking in will create the blood sugar elevation. So. Guys, uh, I hope that helps. But the good thing is, the good thing, after all the stress is over, your body learns to deal with stress, right? This short episodes of stress to your body is a good thing, but the chronic stress is not a good thing, right? This short episode of stress teaches your body to prepare for the future. So now your body is going to handle your blood sugars better. After a few hours, you will see that your blood sugars are going down. Now, actually, you have to be watching the low blood sugars, especially if you're on certain medications like insulin or insulin producing agents. You may have to watch out your blood sugars down the road and the effect of that exercise can last up to 24 hours so you have to be careful in terms of you know like hey my blood sugar went up to 250 and you know I, I will I will not worry about this it's already high no you may find yourself being down to 50 in a few hours so guys I hope that helps and if it does please give a thumbs up share and like this video we'll see you in the next one hey guys I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.